So you've tuned in then once again to watch another electricity meter video. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in then. And what we're going to be looking at today then, in reference to electricity meters, is another prepayment electricity meter. As you can see there from what it says on the coin box, this instrument accepts florins only and if you've come from my previous channel then you will know the instrument that we're about to look at. The instrument in question then is Smith Meters Type APM. Let's zoom out now then and have a look at it. There it is then. I will just uh we set tripod up a bit so we can get the whole lot in front of the camera like so that is superb right there so then what we got there is a smith meters type apm uh what can i start to say on this one then with this one this particular instrument that i've got there i purchased that from someone and basically they removed it from service Round about 1992, 1993, uh, it was shoved in a cupboard and forgotten about. Okay, and it was around about, I think it was about 2005 now, somewhere around about there. I can't remember when I acquired the instrument, uh, but it was around about there that I uh, acquired it. And yes, this instrument inside is complete and original. Okay, it hasn't been played around or monkeyed about with at all. It's complete and original, right the way down to the original florin coin mechanism that's in there. And yes, that can also accept a two shilling coin. Okay, you can probably see those circular things on top of the meter, and they, they are a pair of shillings, and we should go over to those now and have a look at those before we continue on any further with the instrument. There they are then, okay. So, I've got a, couple, a pair of shilling coins there. The one to the left is the, the later Queen Elizabeth type, okay. It says two shillings on it. There you go, two shillings down the bottom there. Okay. So that's the sort of uh, coin that this instrument would have accepted. There's two shillings on it. I believe it was this one which is what I've referred to as a florin because it's got like a floral design in the middle of it. And the date for that one is 1966. So it's very typical for this particular instrument. Okay, 1966 there. And it's obviously got Queen Elizabeth on the back. Did I get that? There we go. Okay, and the other uh, type of two shillings that we've got here is the King George type. Okay. And if I can get on it, I believe the date is on the front there. 1949. That, there it is, 1949. Chances are this coin was made before this instrument was. I don't think this instrument dates back to 1949. This is probably early 1960s. Okay, so there you go. Uh, is it, yeah, it's focused on that. Two shillings then. Okay, and it's got King George on the back of it. So there we go. That's the what this instrument accepts then, the two shilling coin. Now it should be noted, uh, up until 1992, the uh, the decimal ten pence was the same size as that. So 
the uh, the decimal ten pence would have gone inside that coin mechanism, and that is why, in round about 1992-1993, this instrument was removed because when the ten pence coin went smaller, okay, in 1992, that rendered this redundant and it couldn't be used anymore. So it was removed and it was shoved in the cupboard and forgotten about until around about 2005. And uh, that's when I acquired it. Okay. So it is complete and original in there. Let me just set that camera back down. So then, that's the coin. Uh, so, that is the coin that the instrument accepts, then the two shilling coin. Let's go over to the kilowatt hour based readout then and do the characteristics for this one. As you can see there, it's a single phase two wire instrument, 200 to 240 volts, 40 amp maximum on this one. Load wheel characteristic is 300 revolutions per kilowatt hour, okay, which is a bit slower than the previous APR which run at 360. Just underneath the load wheel then, it says on it, type APM single phase prepayment meter 50 cycles. Smith meters limited and then you can just about make it out underneath that it says London and Scotland. Okay, because they did have a Scottish division. Okay, there it is, it says London, Scotland. Underneath that then we've got an instruction plate and tells you how to work the instrument and it says on it Turn handle to right Insert coin and press home Turn handle as far as possible left Repeat for each coin inserted Automatic device prevents too many coins being inserted at one time Zooming out then, that just down there, uh, where's my finger, that is the terminal uh, down there, the terminal block where the cables goes in, if you was wondering what that little circular thing is underneath there, it's just a screwed hold on the terminal cover. In the centre window then, right at the top you can see it says, set at A and B rate, okay, this instrument has been set onto the B rate, Okay, you can see it there. Let me square that camera up so you can see all, all of the wording in there. There we go. So it says set at uh, right aim rate B. It's still not really that square in there, is it? Right, well, you can see it says set at uh, right aim rate B there. I'm a bit sort of, uh... oh, that, if you've just heard that drop on the floor, that was my remote control. Righty-o, then. Let me zoom that out a bit. So it says, set at rate A and rate B. It's currently set on the B rate, as denoted by that little arrow. That refers to the two scales that are on that, uh, on that dial just underneath. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading the inner red scale. I can just lower this tripod down a bit. There we go. So we're going to be reading the inner red scale then. Get that lovely and centred like that. We can zoom right in on that now. There we go. So, we got zero then. And this reads up in increments of four. So we've got 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, and then 20. And then it goes 40, 16, 80. Now, with this instrument, if you've uh, seen previous instruments on my channel, look, for example, the F2K50B by Ferranti, uh, you'll notice that this scale does not have the red section in it. Okay. Now, although this instrument operates 
rather much in exactly the same way as the F2K50B. Uh, it doesn't make any reference to the red section on the scale or the fact that the coin mechanism, just like an F2K50B, has the little gate. That was my Tobias. I think he wants to go out. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back in a moment. Okay, then I'm back. Right, so we've sorted out the Tobias. What I was saying is we got the little gate inside the coin mechanism just there. Okay, and when a sufficient amount of coins have been inserted in there, a little gate will operate over the outlet of the coin mechanism and it will jam the coin mechanism, which is a perfectly normal function. Okay, and it's basically designed to stop the unused unit style being overwhelmed, okay, and the consequent loss of prepaid credit. Uh, yes, yeah, so this one doesn't make any reference to the little red section on the dial, which, as you can see from this instrument, was a later development, okay. Just underneath the unused unit scale, then, we have got a coin register, and this one is currently showing 566 coins being inserted. Given the age of the instrument, that probably got around a few times, okay, because once that reaches 900, 999, a third of insertion of a coin makes it click back to zero anyway, and it just carries on going. The outer black scale on the unused unit style then reads up in increments of 1. So we've got 0 down the bottom there and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15 and 20. And that's if it was set on the A rate, which is is not. Going over to the coin mechanism then, as you can see detailed around that, we've got a range of numbers... And those are for when setting the tariff. Okay. Now for rate A, that can be set between 1.0 and 4.7 units per coin. And that is in increments of 0 0.1 of a unit. For the rate B then, it can be set anywhere between 4.0 and 18.8 units per coin. And that is set in increments of 0 0.4 of a kilowatt hour. So there it is. Nice instrument overall. Nice and tidy and original condition inside. This one still has its uh, a reading on it from when I acquired it. It's obviously had a bit more added onto it because I've... I uh, have run this in, uh, before now, just to obtain an accuracy test on it. So, the reading on this one then. Okay, if you want to work that out, then by all means do so. I'm just going to work it out in my head, and then I shall tell you in a moment. Okay then, if you don't want to know the, uh, the reading, then turn the audio down now. The reading on this one then is 7,797.3, okay, uh, so yes, that's the reading for that, although that red pointer isn't quite on the number 4, you read the number that the pointer has gone past, okay, so there it is, load wheel down the bottom there which we've already seen, okay. Like I say, this one is nice and complete and original inside. It hasn't been played around with at all. So everything is lovely and fantastic inside there. Okay, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. Okay, what we've been looking at then is a two shilling operated or florin operated Smith type 
APM prepayment meter. There will be more electricity meter videos coming up later on on this channel in full high definition of course 1920 by 1080 p so yes thanks for tuning in to watch this one and yes there will be more electricity meter videos later on thanks for watching this one then